Hey guys, and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're here in the warehouse for a little hands-on training. We're going to work with a Kohler Nidecan single-handle shower faucet. So it's a little bit difficult to repair, but what we're going to do is show you step-by-step -step how to repair it and get it back installed in your faucet. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Check out this video coming up next. So right here we've already gotten the uh, the, the cartridge or, or valve control removed from the faucet valve body in the wall. These were very similar or very common for shower onlys uh, back in the 60s, 60s and 70s. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot of buildup, a lot of gunk and grime on this thing. Uh, and actually every part for this faucet is still available. Uh, some are a little pricier than others. What we're going to do today is try to rebuild this thing. Um, one thing I do recommend is the yoke assembly. This section in the back where the pistons here and here, the hot and the cold pistons, when you turn the handle back and forth, that pushes these pistons in and out to shut the water on and off. Um, this is the original ones from the 60s that has these springs. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see. Try to zoom in there. and it has uh, these little tension springs. So typically we would rebuild these, but this one here, since it is so old, we're gonna screw this off and replace this section of it. Okay. Um, what we've got here is the Kohler 30092 genuine OEM replacement um, yoke assembly. And that's gonna come, it does come with a rubber band on it, um, because these the new ones they will fall out okay the other ones with the spring tensioners were, were locked in place and when you put a screwdriver to it and remove these um, that's when they would come apart the new ones just slide in place in this little groove here okay be sure to not get them mixed up if you notice this one has a square this one's round uh, you don't want to get them mixed up because when you turn it on, the water is going to be different. Uh, when it comes on, it'll be backwards. So we're going to put this rubber band back on it for now while we work on the rest of this. The, um, the stem assembly, if you can see it here, that's where the handle mounts on that uh, six-sided stem. And the thread is what screws into the yoke assembly. See how we screw that onto there? Okay. Now this stem looks like it's in good shape. Typically, if the stem needs replacing, you'll see the uh, the threads and the grooves become deteriorated. And sometimes when you crank on that handle, that the um, it'll you'll feel it slip. You'll turn it and it cuts off, and then maybe pop. It'll slip a little bit where those grooves have gone bad. Now that stem is replaceable. However, it's very difficult to replace. Um, this is the stem. And it's the 22909 by Kohler. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go over to the wire wheel, the wire brush, try to clean some of this grime up, brighten it up, disassemble it, and try to uh, rebuild this part of it, try to save the customer some money. All right, when working with any power equipment, make sure you put on some safety goggles just to protect your vision. What we're going to do is basically just kind of clean this thing up and um, just kind of get the, the grime, the, the build up. You see where the, the build up on the, the unit is? Because this doesn't even thread on. This actually pulls off and it's like locked on here. So we need to kind of clean this up and try to get this removed. So after getting the, um, the brass all cleaned up around here and around the base of the trim, this trim actually just slides off. But since it's the original, 
from 1966. It's really having a hard time coming off. Sometimes you can grab a the trim with a pair of pliers lightly and just kind of twist it and lift it off and it'll come right off. However, this one's not cooperating. So we're going to pull the Dremel tool out and uh, knock it out that way. Be careful once you get down about halfway, not to cut too far through into the valve body and the brass. So up top, about half inch, three quarters of an inch down, it's all hollow inside here. So just be careful there. We're gonna try to cut it maybe three quarters of the way down and then maybe peel it away because it's a soft brass. We're gonna see how this does. Kind of grab that section that you've kind of loosened up. It's got so much grime and soap scum and corrosion in here that it's built up over the years. reason it's moving around you don't want to over tighten it in the vise and egg shape this main valve body so I don't want to over tighten it there you can't grab it on the stem because that spins there we go and that popped off if you look here you see all that build up that that grime around that stem assembly so we're gonna go back to the uh, wire wheel and clean some of that up again. All right, so now we've got this thing cleaned up pretty good. Actually, it cleaned up really nice. Got a lot of that grime off. Um, looks almost new. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the packing nut, which is the first nut that you get to. Um, if you notice here, the stem moves pretty easy you know see it spin like that pretty easy so chances are uh, it, it's the packing's bad and it leaked up around the front here causing it to, to become corroded So we got it back in the vise and we're going to take this packing nut loose. Uh, remember not to tighten it too much in the vise because uh, we don't want to egg shape this. And you can't put the stem in there because the stem just spins so it's going to spin on you. So turn it counterclockwise and really that wasn't that tight and that's, that's probably one of the reasons it was leaking. That comes off, we're going to set that to the side and that's actually in good shape. Uh, we'll clean the other side of this up on the wire wheel. Um, it is available for replacement, but this one looks pretty decent shape. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below um, and for each of these pieces separately. So if you do need them, you can buy them. Next, we gotta get the packing nut out, or the packing out here, which takes like a pick of some sort. It's a little difficult getting this out. And comes apart it's like a older fiber type of gasket it's got copper wiring inside of it so it's really a dog to get out it comes out in pieces and it's going to take some time to do this so just be patient work with it kind of pick at it from different angles Make sure you watch your hand. You don't want to stab yourself because that does happen. It doesn't feel good. These little 
strands of fiber are all inside there. They don't use that anymore. They use more of a, a solid graphite. Um, looks like this. That's going to be the replacement gasket we put back in there. So now we got most of the gasket dug out. Um, kind of dig out the top layer and go all the way to the bottom and kind of pry up that washer. And see this big glob kind of pulling out now. It's a little time consuming sometimes, but you get it, work around, get it to pop up. Just kind of keep working it. There's a glob of it there. Back and forth. There we go. And that's the bulk of it there. Sometimes you have some stuck in the threads here where you've got to kind of get them out. Now, stem still won't come out. That's locked in there. So there's another nut way down inside there to be able to remove that stem. Now this customer is not having us remove the stem because the stem does look pretty good. However, I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'm not aware that Kohler makes a tool for this, so we kind of make our own little tool. It's got two little notches here, and it goes down over the stem into the channel and grips two little grooves down there. This could also be a little a bit of a pain. And how about that? This is probably the easiest one I've ever had. I got lucky. All right. There's the stem. Okay. This is the nut that holds it in place. And if you notice the two grooves, that's what we put these little notches in. Grips those, threads it out. Okay. If you are replacing the stem, typically take a little wire brush run in there, clean those threads out, get any of that grime out of there, make sure it's getting clean, and then it's all clear there. So now we're going to reassemble, okay? So, so we're going to reuse that old stem because that's what the customer wanted to do. Drops back in place. We put that stem bushing back in place. We take our tool, run it down. It's still not quite tight enough. Keep going until it's good and snug. There we go. Snug up on it a little bit. And it's locked in place. Okay? Still twists. Now we're going to put the new packing, the packing washer here, goes down over it, and then we take the packing nut on top of that, get it hand tight, and then we're going to turn it clockwise until it snugs up. Okay, so this is already even tighter than it was, we haven't even gotten it tight yet. Now this is where you got to get a, a good balance. So if it's too tight, it's going to be hard for the customer to turn it on and off. If it's not tight enough, water will shoot up out of here and leak. Okay. So what I like to do is usually get it just tight enough where you can barely turn it with your fingers. Because once you put the handle on it, you're going to have much more leverage. Okay. So that's pretty much done there. Looks a whole lot better than it was. Cleaned up, nice and fresh. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to screw that yoke assembly on it. Yeah, here it is here. So the new little trim piece, um, and, and that just pushes on. It slides on just like that. Brand new. 
you guys have any questions comment down below make sure you subscribe I have videos like this all the time about different stuff different plumbing stuff to kind of help you out um, I'm gonna put links in the bottom of the description to give you each and every part you need to rebuild this they also have a rubber parts kit the GP 390 30090 which comes with just the washers if you feel like uh, everything's in good shape you can put new washers packing and seats in it and like I said I'll put, I'll put all the uh, links in the description thanks a lot guys for watching I appreciate everything you do